Welcome everybody to another quick tip tutorial. This time it's about using a rendering preview in FRED. As we all know in ray tracing, we have this grain that we can get rid of over time by sampling the image. The problem with that is that we often don't know how many samples we need. Um, so in this case, we have 512 set up, but I guess the image will be done for my purpose. So clean, cleanly rendered. Uh, earlier already. And if I render this out now, I would waste a lot of rendering time by spending 512 samples on the image. Because as you can see right now, in full HD, it looks already good after 20% of it. So what I could do, of course, is I could calculate 20% of 512, which is 100 roughly, and go to render, save, override and I get this progress bar. So this would be one way to do it. But there is a more convenient way um, which doesn't have the downsides of this uh, way to do it as well. So let's get back to 512 which is the maximum we want to spend on the exterior rendering and it should be good enough. And then we go to file output and enable clustering using localhost as a host name. What is happening if I hit rendering now is that Fred is starting to cluster with itself. So it's loading the scene twice onto your machine. And the cool thing about that is that in cluster mode, we will get an awesome rendering preview, which we can use to determine when our image is ready. So as you can see, we can hit update preview and you see that you can watch the rendering process or progress over time. What's very cool as well is that we can click in and zoom in with left click and then move over the final image. And the cool thing here is that we can determine all the details, but also this is the final resolution. So in case we want to render 10K image, for example, we are able to zoom in and see the final image size in this preview and can determine if the rendering is good enough for us already or not. The other benefit here as well, which is very obvious, is we don't have to render twice, right? So we don't have to pre-render, let's say, in the viewport and then type in the calculated samples and render the final image again. So we have one render progress and we see the final image in the final resolution. And as soon as we are happy with the result, we hit save and abort and the files get stored to the machine as you are used to it from offline rendering without the cluster mode. So I hope you like that example. It's a bit hidden, but it is an awesome feature or an awesome way to speed up your daily work and make it more efficient and more convenient. So one, one little thing that we need to keep in mind here though is that Fred is actually loading the scene twice into your memory if you do this. So you need to make sure that it also fits twice into your main memory and it's not too big. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and make sure that you don't miss any other quick tip tutorials and other tutorial series that are going to come up on this channel.